Hi guys, I'm Scripterblogs. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showing you guys how you can make your very own emote GUI. Because, of course, you know that Roblox already makes a small emote GUI for your games. But, what in case if those emotes that Roblox already gives you aren't enough to you? Well, I can show you how to do this. Um... So, yeah, um, I'll just go quickly out of the game and we can get started. So, first and first we want to have our emote GUI because this will be a GUI where you will be able to click on different emotes. So, click on start the GUI, click on plus or on your keyboard, turn Control I now just insert this green UI, then click on it, rename it by either going to properties, clicking on the name property, or clicking here on explorer again on it, or clicking F2 on your keyboard while having it selected. So I'll use F2. So now let's rename it to Emote GUI. You can name it whatever you want. Now, we can click again on plus and insert the frame. The frame will be our main frame, so we can name it main, a moment, main frame. I just need to do this, redo this. Done. Now, I'll, we'll just quickly insert everything what we need in the emoji UI. Again, a text button. The text button will be the toggle button. Now, in the main frame, we can insert a text label that will be our title, so we can name it title. You don't have to insert a title, but you can. So let's go back to the main frame and again insert a object. So now to what things that you can do, either you can quit now insert your emote button or you can do one more thing in case you have really many modes so you can insert a scrolling scroll scrolling frame the scrolling frame will be our emote list in case you're doing it with a scrolling frame you don't have to do it with a scrolling frame i just wanted to do it with a scrolling frame now that we have put added in all the objects that we'll need into the main frame its properties so it, another thing for this video what you will need are explore properties and probably as well the output so to open them go from home to view and then here in explore click explore and properties so make sure that those two are checked and as well get the output so now that you've done that, back to the mainframe, we can play, go into the properties and search for pull anchor point. Now we can set the anchor point to be 1,5 and we can search for the position and we can put it to 0.8 comma zero comma zero point five comma zero and that will position it here i think i'll not use zero comma eight i'll use zero comma nine perfect now we can go to the size property and put it to point five no point four comma comma point eight five comma Oops, I think I won't put it to 4, I'll put it to 3. Done. I think I can in the position put 9 to 9, 5. Now that I've done that, I can go to the title and put its size to 1, comma, comma, point 0.15, comma. No, 1, comma, comma, point 0.1, comma. Done. Now, the emote list, we can set its anchor point to be 0 0.5, 0. Now, we can go to its position and put it to 0 0.5, 0, 0, 
zero point two comma zero. Um. So then, I no to zero point one on the third for last number. Now we can search for the size property and put it to one comma comma point nine comma. Done. Now we here have a list in that we can insert our emotes. Let's straight back to the title and search for text. And we can put it to something like emote. You can as well use emote. I'll stay by emote. Then you can check text scaled and search for a font that you'd like. I like the font drop in black, but you can use a different one. If you want, you can as well search for the transparency and put it to one. Following, we can take the emote list and do the same for it. If you're done with that, I'll just quickly put the color of our main frame to something blue, so 0, 0,255,0. Oops. No, I meant 0, 0,0,255. 0, done. I'll just quickly insert the UI corner to make it look really nice. And I'll put the UI corner to 0.05 comma 0. Yeah, that looks good. And now we can go to the emote list, click on plus and insert the text button. The text button will be our emote. So I will have backflip for the first. So I'll name it backflip. When you've done that, you can search for the text and as well put it to backflip so the player knows what he will emote when he clicks on that. So backflip. Followed by that will change it as well the font to something new. I'll just put it to Sir Sam's Ball. Now I'll scale the text up again and I will search for size property. I'll put it to 0 0.95 comma 0 comma 0. 0, 0.5 comma 0 uh, I won't use 9.5 I'll use 9.8 Nope Let's rather use 9.7 Perfect Now I'll just as well insert another UI corner into this And uh, make it be right So 0.1 comma No Let's do 0 0.3 comma Now that I'll use 0 0.4 0 0.4 comma and I'll just quickly give it a, the backflip button a new color, so 0, 0, 0,255,0, that will make it nice green. Now, this looks nice. Now we can do one more thing, we'll go and replicate it storage, click on plus and insert a remote event. Now we can name it something like emote event and on the emote UI we can again insert something and this will be a folder the folder I will name something like anims you don't need to name it anims you can as well do animations or animation folder anims folder I just will use anims now you can insert a Animation object and the animation object in this case will be named backflip In here we will put our animation ID now we can just go on emote UI and quickly disable it for a sec Now we actually want to create our animation so we can go Up here to plugins click on build rig and insert the block rig Now we can position the block rig on the floor and open up the animation editor now we can name this animation back flip oops i named it book flip but 
that doesn't matter. So I'll just quickly put the uh, length to two seconds, and I'll just quickly zoom till I'm done. So now I'm done with making the backflip anim. It's just a quick simple anim. Asian about how the player does a backflip so I hope yours is gonna be much li nicer so I'll just quickly show mine probably yours is gonna be better and mine is only for a tutorial but yeah now we can click on the three dots and click on set animation priority and put it to action now again on the three dots and click on export now we can give it any description. I like to use a face roll because I quickly want to get my animation done and I don't want to think of a good description. So click on submit and before you click on close, click on this these two squares over each other. If it says in green ID copied, then you can click on close. So like this you have the animation ID copied. Now you can go to backflip on animation ID and then paste it in with control V in my case. Now you should get rb asset ID colon slash slash and then some numbers. Now I'm just gonna create following animations or emotes let's say I'll not only use a backflip, I'll as well have a front for no not front flip. Eh, I did that. Eh, now done. And I will put a in this time this time I'll put the text to front flip. Then I can go to its position property and at the third number i'll put it to 0 0.1 oops nope that uh, uh i don't i know what i'll do i'll just put don't forget in this case you can click again on the emote list click on plus and insert a ui list layout like this it will be nicely inserted into a list but I'll just put the padding to 0.01 this will make that we have a nice space now now that we've done our second button and the backflip animation we can go again into the animation editor click on the three dots and then and this time on create new this will be my Front lip. One moment. Front lip. And I'll just quickly design it. It in my case it will take two seconds and I'll again jump to when I'm done. So now I'm done creating my animation. This is how my front flip animation looks like. I hope that is well in this case yours will look better if you're as well making your front flip one. Now again click on the three dots and set the animation priority to action because it should have reset it itself. Now again on the three dots and click on export. Now again just give it any description, you can use a face roll and then click on submit and again copy the animation ID by clicking on the two squares. Then just in the animus folder duplicate the animation object paste your other animation ID in and then name it something else one moment now if you don't want to make more buttons then you don't need to but I don't really want to make more buttons at the moment so now what you want to do for actually making the animations play 
If you want to click on your first button, click on plus and enter the local script. Then, in the local script, you can write the following code. Local event equals to game dot replicated storage dot emote event. If you haven't named your remote event the emote event, then just change emote event to how you named it. So now we can just drop a line and click and do another variable. So local and this one will be our animation. So I'll do anim equals to script so the script dot parent so the button dot parent so the emote list dot parent so the main frame dot parent so the emote ui dot anims and now if we actually want to have our animation so this is the backflip button so you can write that backflip now you can again drop a line and write dot parent dot mouse button one click this is a click event so if someone clicks the button then we'll connect it with colon connect with a function by writing function <laughs> now open bracket close bracket drop a line now you should have as well a end closing bracket added in now we can write event column fire server we are using fire server because in a local script we're on a client so we can't fire the client on a server on a local script because the local script is already a client script and server scripts can fire the server because they're already on the server kind of so and now we can send as well the anim so or animation with the uh, remote event because you need to imagine remote events to kind of be something like a mailman that are for instance here in our case on the client and we can send them off to the server to tell them to do something and we're sending the animation anim so you can imagine it like that as if we're with the mailman as well sending a letter with what is the anim so the mailman can tell the server's script as well some information so we're sending some information that we'll need on the server script now we'll just quickly duplicate this local script and put it into the front flip or the next button then we can open it up and just change back flip to front flip if you made the front flip animation after the back flip now we can click on server script service to make our actual server script we can click control e again and insert the script now we can with control a select everything and we can write game dot replicated storage dot emote event Again, if you named your emote event something else, then just change emote event to what you named it. Dot on server event. So you only can do dot on server event if you're on the server. So if you're on the client and you fired it from the server, then you need to do dot on client event. And then we can do now colon connect function. And now we'll get two arguments. So the first one is player. That's the player who fired the server. And then to separate it with the second argument, we can use a comma and the space. And now our second argument is the anim. So the animation object that we sent with the remote event. And yeah, like on the server event, the mailman as well now gave the animation object information to the server. Now we can do close in bracket and drop a line. Now we should as well again have this and close in bracket added in. So now we can do some variables. Local char to get the character equals to player dot 
character or player dot character added colon wait so like this we're now getting the character because we'll need it to play the animation on it now we can do two more variables the first one is local hum for humanoid equal to char colon brackets and speech marks and now we can write humanoid and after that last variable is local animation now you can't do anim because anim is already the pl the argument that we got from the remote event so we actually need to make a new variable so the computer can s your, so Roblox can separate what you now mean if you mean anim or anim so the send animation object or the loaded animation so local anim equals to hum column low animation to load its animation now we can do brackets and we can write anim now it's like this it will just load the animation that we send it so in the backflip case script.parent.parent.parent.anims.backflip and now the last thing what we need to do to make this whole script work is write animation colon play brackets now this is completely done uh, we can actually as well name or emote script to something like let's say emote script and Yeah, I'll as well show you how to make the button, but first we can now test if our emote GUI works. And now we can look at the character and click on the backflip button. Find first child is not valid member of model workspace dot the daughter. So let's see if I find the error. Well, let's just do wait for child. I don't know why this didn't work. Let's see if wait for child works. Now we can click on the backflip button and our person does a backflip. If we click on the front flip button, our person will do a front flip. So we've now created our very own MLG UI. If you want to make different animations, do so. These were just for a tutorial, and now two more things that I want to show you is how you can add more animations with buttons, and how you can make the title button work. So first of all, the title button. So now let's just change it to something like emote its text, and we are already named it title button. Now we can again change its font if we like, I'll put it to dark and black. I just like that font. Now we can do text staled again. So and now we can set its background color free to one moment. Let's see, two four five comma zero comma zero. That will just make it a nice red. Now we can go to the anchor point. And set it to 0, 0, 0.5. Now we can do in its position to be 0, 0.01, comma 0, comma 0, 0.5, comma 0. Done. Now this will just position it there. Last thing about the design, let's put the size to something not offset. So I'll just put it to 0 0.15 comma 0 comma 0 0.05 comma 0 and this makes it be a nice size. I'll just quickly explain why it's good to not work with offset values is here we have the emulator and if we click on it you see that the whole size scales with this 
size of the screen. I'll just do it like this, like this. You'll see that it actually changes its size if the screen size is different. So if we would work with offset, it wouldn't. So that's the reason why you should rather work with offset. So now I'll just put in the toggle button in the UI corner. I just love these rounded corners. And I'll put it to 0 0.4,0. Okay, this looks good. And now the last thing to actually make it work again in the toggle button and insert a local script. Now in the local script, we can write script parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function oh right it close right it drop line and now we can do script the parent parent dot main frame dot visible equals to not script the parent that parent dot main frame dot visible done now the toggle button works if you want you to just just test this oh if you see this infinite yield in my output that doesn't matter because actually that's the error of Roblox so you don't need to think about that. Now you can check out your button, emote, like this we can toggle the emote GUI and yeah. So that's pretty cool, I find funny that you can do a back flip but while walking, same as a front flip. Yeah, it's actually pretty funny that you actually still hear footsteps while you do that. But now to the last thing, add more buttons in case you have more. So. Some important things are, first of all, make your another button. I'll just make, as my last animation, a animation where he jumps happy into the air. So I'll just duplicate my front flip button. And because of our UI-less layout, we don't need to reposition it. Now to the text, we can do it something... Well, we can do it to what we wanted, so... I'll just put it to Yahoo! Now, we'll just duplicate the front flip animation object and put it as well to Yahoo! Now, in the local script of the, f the Yahoo button, or first let's quickly name it as well Yahoo! And in the local script, we can, instead of uh, parent, 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 dot anim, dot front flip will do the same, only instead of front flip, yahoo, because, yeah, we want that it will, and like that, it will automatically send a yahoo animation instead of a different one, and last thing what we is make that animation, so we can just go uh, like into plugins, animation editor, and select them, and now you can click on the three dots again create new and this one will be or yahoo animation so i'll just quickly create that done now i can just quickly watch it yeah i'm happy with that and then again just set an animation priority action and export it again um, yeah, any description, and again, copy the animation ID, and go back to the Yahoo, and paste into the animation ID, your other ID. Now, you're actually done. Now, we can just quickly play to check if the Yahoo actually worked. And we can click again on Yahoo, and he joyfully jumps into the air, like I scripted him to do. And we can do a front flip and back flip, but yeah, you can still use the emotes of Roblox. So, bye!